All right, so the first mod we got on the list is going to be the Crush Vehicle mod. You can find this recipe in the Mobile Vehicle Bay, and you got the Crush Drone right here able to be crafted. How is this not deep enough water? Now there it is. All right, we got our little Crush Drone being made. I'm not entirely sure if you can get in it or not, but we're gonna find out because I'm thinking like it's a drone, so you wouldn't be able to get in it and you'd only be able to pilot it remotely. So here's our Crush Drone right here. It looks pretty, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's got two eyes. That's kind of funny, even though I'm sure those are lights, but they kind of look like eyeballs. So we got two vehicle batteries on the back, one on the left. Oh no, okay, never mind. I lied. There's one vehicle battery on the right side. On the left, you can access the upgrades. It's got two upgrade slots, and then the top is the storage. So you cannot get in this thing like on your person. So what you're gonna have to do is either build, so you can actually do this inside of your Cyclops, or you can do it like in a main base, but you're gonna have to build a panel to actually be able to control the drone. And then in here, we should see a new interior piece right there, the drone station, a terminal from which to control drones remotely. So with this terminal, you can build it inside of your regular base if you want or you can build it inside of your cyclops either or works so it shows us the hp of our drone the power we can connect to the drone we can cycle between the drones we are inside of our crush drone now the cool thing and unique thing about the crush drone is the fact that the crush drone can gather resources for you so we got a sandstone our right here so we can break and then gather oh it's got a little grab animation and everything can i gather fish that's the question it surely can. So yeah, in your crush drone, you're gonna be able to go around the map and gather different resources. I don't think you'll be able to scan. Yeah, no, you can't scan fragments, unfortunately. But with the crush drone, you can you can mainly use it for resource gathering. It's especially especially useful if you're like if you set up your crush drone, maybe like a drone outpost or something like right next to a super dangerous biome, and you you want to go in that biome to get some resources or something. But you know, obviously the biome's super dangerous, so you don't want to go in there. So you can send your your crush drone in instead, and you can just control that, gather the resources that you want in that biome using the crush drone. You know, bring it back to your base or whatever. So you can gather resources safely without putting your in harm's way with the use of this crush drone which is pretty awesome and also looks cool it's got a little grabbing animation i like that too and i believe if you hit so for me because i'm on pc but if i hit tab it said you can return so tab so now what i hit tab now it's gonna is it coming yeah it's coming back to me now that's that's awesome so once you're done gathering all your resources all you have to do is hit tab or whatever the control is going to be for your pc and the crush drone will come flying back to you it'll stop whenever it's like sort of nearby all right so let's just say around seven all right yes yeah, so we're gonna call the crush drone back so once you get around 700 meters that's about as far as the crush drone can actually get away from you and stuff so that is some that's some pretty good range that the crush drone has but yeah that was the crush drone mod pretty cool pretty cool so with that we got two other awesome mods that we're gonna cover so let's go on and get to the next mod all right the next mod we have is going to be your very own car in subnautica pretty awesome pretty and it also looks super Super cool too i really like these little these little light squares whatever the heck these whatever these are uh, i really like the way they look and we're gonna get in and it has its own little cockpit this mod is called the r5 uh the r5 something i think there's some more there's extra words after it okay excuse me it's actually called the it's called the renault 5 submersible mod short version of it is r the r5 submersible mod it basically gives you a little car it operates basically the same as the c mod does it's got a lot of slots down there for upgrades okay no there is storage for this thing okay so the storage for this vehicle is on the bottom and then we got two so there's two batteries batteries on the bottom of the vehicle two power cells and then you got the storage in the way back and it's got some pretty good storage too so it's got some pretty good storage for being like a little car so that's 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 pretty good so it's got two batteries on the bottom big old storage on the bottom as well it looks super cool because you know it's just a little mini car in subnautica i really like that and the cockpit is pretty cool as well look at that you even got your own little ac down there but yeah r5 submersible pretty cool pretty cool mod and with that let's head on to the last mod which is going to add two new creatures into the game all right uh we can already see what the freak that is in the big old blob in the distance so this next mod is called the bloop and blaza mod it adds two new new leviathans into the game called again <laughs> the bloop and blaza so right now we're looking at the bloop big old looks like a big old puffer fish oh he's got he's got two mouths that's disgusting oh and he's got an and he's got a unique roar oh oh the sounds he makes is nasty let's do him swimming oh he's got like a vortex in his mouth oh heck not absolutely not I'm trying to suck some people up hold on let me spawn the sea moth in. i'm not turning the damage off though i'm not interested in finding out how much damage this thing could do i just want to see his little animations Oh, okay, okay, yep, we're inside the Okay, uh, I'm dead, all right. Uh, from what I read on the, you know, like the mod description and whatnot, 
the bloop is found in primarily the shallow biomes more shallow areas not in the like, super deeper areas so places like the grassy plateaus like where i'm at right now that's where the bloop can be found is a little bit different he, he has a different attack when it comes to as far as leviathans go he doesn't actually bite you but instead because he has the biggest mouth of any creature in the game, uh, he can just essentially swallow you whole like he's trying to do to me right now. Look at him, bro. Get away, get, get away from me, son. And he's got that vortex thing that pops up in his mouth that helps him, I guess, pull you in to swallow you. And if you're inside your vehicle, let's say your sea moth, I guess, as we could just see, the sea moth did not help at all. Oh, this thing is destroyed. Oh, yeah, it's, it's just glitched out because the damage is off. Okay, he glows. I want to see his eyes. I want to see his face at night. Oh, my gosh. And his eyes illuminate the, his eyes illuminate the ground. That is... That is scary. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Let's let's get away from me. Let's not do this. Let's not do this. Let's not do this, please, please. So yeah, Blue Leviathan. He can swallow your sea moth. He can swallow your prawn suit, and he can swallow you if you're not careful. He can't do anything to your cyclops though because he does not. He does not have a bite attack. He can only attack you by simply swallowing you whole. That is kind of terrifying, and the sounds he makes are pretty scary too. But yeah, with that, let's go on and look at the other Leviathan, which is going to be the Blaza Leviathan. Alright, so the next Leviathan we have that this mod came with is going to be the Blaza Leviathan. Now, the Blaza Leviathan is only found, so that other, the Blue Leviathan spawned, like, naturally in the game, because I didn't have to spawn him in, because he's in the shallow biomes. But the Blaza Leviathan, he does not spawn in such biomes, he only spawns in, not various, but you know, he spawns in the different cave biomes that are in the game. Oh, nope, there he is, Ari. That's him right there. Look at him, look at it. It's disgusting. It's, a, it's an extremely, extremely long Leviathan. It's like a big old snake, like I said. And he is only really found in the cave systems of Subnautica. Oh, what's going on with your neck, my guy? Okay. And now we're in the sea moth. Let's see what he does to the sea moth. Yep, all right, he has a whole grab and oh, oh, we're in his mouth. Oh, oh. All right, again, I'm not sure if he can do damage to the, to the uh, Cyclops. I know he can damage the sea moth because he just grabbed it. Let's spawn the prawn suit. See what he does to that. The sound design for this creature, for this and the blue, both of them. Okay, yeah, he can grab the Cyclops as well. I mean, that's good. Oh, it made a different sound that time. It was like a beeping sound. No, oh, he grabbed the sea moth again. He's hungry. I'm trying to see if he can do damage to the Cyclops before we end this video, but like excessive noise. Yeah, whatever. Can you come and bite the Cyclops? I want to see like if he can do like a good solid hit on it. That's honestly going to be the most terrifying thing about this Leviathan is the fact that it's only found in the cave systems, right? And it sort of clips through the walls. There he is. I guess he can't do damage to the Cyclops because it's not popping up as like a threat on the little icon. I guess he can't do damage to the Cyclops, but he can damage the prawn suit and the sea moth now the i think that the most terrifying thing about this leviathan for one the sounds the sounds of the bloop and the blaza leviathan there he goes again they both sound super terrifying and honestly all the leviathans sound scarier when you're inside of your cyclops or just vehicles in general because they sound different so i think the most terrifying thing about this leviathan is the fact that you're only going to be able to find it in the caves of somatica they're already dark enough all right they're, they're dark and scary enough as it is but he not only can swim around, but he also sometimes, sometimes will clip through the wall, sometimes he won't, but he's also super long. He's not like a wide Leviathan. Seeing a creature like that in a cave, especially if he's the, look at him, he's like the length of this entire, this entire cavern, like from this side all the way to this side, he's that long. So seeing that swim around in the cave, uh, pretty freaking terrifying, you ask me. And he also has some pretty scary sounds. Yep, there he goes again. The proper people will be credited for their work, and hopefully y'all go check out their mods because you know these mods are pretty, pretty freaking awesome. But yeah, that is about all I had for y'all. Look at the blue, look at the, look at the blaza over there, hang, swimming around. That's all I had for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.